Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today we're going to be talking about instant walkbacks and Asian threes combination. But before we get into that video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It's liking up the video, puts the video to the recommended. And of course, subscribe and put your naughty game for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this video. So, this is what we want to talk about instant walkbacks, Asian three combination is going to be pretty nasty all right i'm not gonna to lie to you it's gonna be pretty toxic right now what you see in the background is going to be the mamba moments prelude when you get into the mamba moments we are able to show mamba moments so these are some of the game plays that you do once you're getting to it you'll get like these reels of showing whatever that event is this right here of course is kobe hitting those threes um setting the nba record for three point shots which i think is kind of like perfect for what we're getting to because we're gonna be talking about aging threes along with the instant walk back now well, first, let's talk about instant walkbacks, okay? So, instant walkback has been a thing that a lot of people are pretty split on, okay? And I think, like, most of the competitive players, they want it. And I think, you know, competitive players, they just want anything and everything to, you know, give them advantage, right? So, an instant walkback is not a realistic move, all right? At all. It's definitely not a realistic move. But at the same time, um, we're not... Video games ain't meant to be 100% realistic. Me, personally, I don't really care about the instant walkbacks. But I do know that it can be very annoying um, because it kind of, in this instance, would be taking the place of like the LeBron James step back. Um, it's pretty OP, especially because it's instant. Like you can literally start dribbling, stop and go back as I'm about to show you in a second. But it's pretty toxic. But also, OK, now we know that Agent 3s has been 100 percent reworked as this year. It looks like a step back will be able to activate Agent 3s, okay? So as you're going to see right here, I'm actually just do a little step back and Agent 3s pop up, which to me is actually pretty insane, okay? So um, I don't know how people are necessarily, you know, going to take that, but I do know fading is harder to do now, and Agent 3s was really associated with the fading 3. But now to know that you can literally anybody, a spot up, right could theoretically just be like a foot in front three-point line just do a little step back and shoot and you get agent threes activated now i will say this agent threes is not going to be something that's going to be easily to attain at the gold and hall of fame level because a 76 three will give you bronze an 86 three will give you silver a 94 will require for gold so remember last year was 89 now you need a 94 just to get gold and then a 98 for hall of fame so it's not like it's going to be a lot of people running around the park or the wreck or whatever with that because you know as you was when you once you get the builder you'll see it's so much harder to be able to get that right so much harder to be able to get these um higher tiers for the um agent threes golden hall of fame so people might try to get away with silver but at the end of the day if you're able to get hall of fame or gold you're going to be able to cook up but let me real quickly just go back because while I was talking, this animation happened. This right here is what I'm talking about. That's an instant walk back going straight into a three ball, which again is going to be Asian threes. Look at this. Stop instantly. Holy moly, right? To me, that is going to be a really good move to utilize. A lot of comp players are going to utilize that. And it's an instant, instant walk back and an instant three that you can be able to get off and if you have agent threes on gold or in hall of fame you can imagine how successful you could be with using that animation especially and as you see right here there's another three i just pulled right up now kobe was just like i said cooking with grease man this is for 11 threes so you know the objective is to try to shoot as many threes as possible so that's what i was doing but what i'm saying is is that that move right there from a competitive standpoint or just anybody in general i can see that being a big problem right so let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you think that's going to be an issue? Do you like this fact that you can get an instant, instant, instant stop in a walk back? Because that's not a realistic move. We all know that. But again, it's a video game. You know, some people feel that, you know, hey, the walk backs was a little overpowered. I'm wondering 2K22, they were actually nerfed. 2K23, there was a little bit of, um, it was still in the game, but it wasn't as powerful as this. But, you know, I'm just kind of curious to think or see what y'all think about that. Because at the end of the day, it's really about what the you know the community as a whole is going to think. Now, again, as you see right there, Kobe has um, Dead Eye on Hall of Fame. But what type? I can't really talk about the builder, but I can see people making a build that is tailored to just being more of a pure sharp, 
right? A pure sharp type of aspect to where they, they can turn around, have a decent amount of dribble, and then be able to utilize not only off-ball screens, but able to get the ball in their hands, make a drive to the basket, do the instant stop, step, do the instant stop and um, walk back, and walk back to three-point line and just cook with like a Hall of Fame agent threes. So that's something that I'm currently like thinking about. Like, is this something that's gonna be overpowered? And what you're seeing right now is just coming straight out of a triple threat, going straight into a step back to a three. So again, it doesn't have to be the instant walk back. You could be just like I'm saying right here, just do an instant step back and hit that with an agent three popping up. And also the crazy thing about it is that this right here is Kobe Bryant size up escape. What if we find something that's more like a LeBron James, like LeBron James OP, you know, hop step back to the basket. I know um, Allen Iverson had a pretty decent one too. So it's like, um, figuring out that we're figuring that out and then all of a sudden we can see a lot of people using that same move over and over again like lebron james size up escape was utilized a lot for the distance step backs and then all of a sudden you can have people just shooting threes really high like it's, it can get kind of out of hand so you know i'm just like i said i'm just playing devil advocate just kind of think like is this going to be something that's going to be overpowered is it going to be something that oh demi you're just you know overthinking it but i do know like now that agent threes can pop up not just from the fade almost anybody in the community is going to be able to utilize that so again that is something else to think about anybody in the community can do but as you see right here again the instant step back is absolutely insane like i don't i don't know man like on a fast break going down boop, boop, like it's gonna be so crazy lockdowns got you gotta worry about not only you know an, an individual driving right by you because of course on a fast break you're looking for them to drive right by you but then to turn back around and then be like on a side to stop on the dot and be able to just hit a three you know man that's actually pretty insane right if you think about it see right there i try um my boy um doom's trying to do it again i guess he didn't get it but so again of course it's gonna be like a you know it's gonna be a skill gap in it to try to figure out how to do the instant step back whatever but wh if you're able to master that and it looks like it's coming out of the behind the back from kobe bryant so if you're doing a kobe bryant signature styles right the behind the back leads to that now i don't know if that means other animations behind the back animations are going to lead to um, the instant walk back. But as you can see here, there's two different things we have here. The instant walk back to the agent threes and then from a triple threat or from a standstill with a, um, a hop back, I mean a step back to um, a three with agent threes. So both of these two combinations could be could be really unique. But again, I'm curious to think about, you know, what do y'all think? Am I overthinking it, right? Am I, or, or it's like, no, Demi, no, you're right. This could be an issue. Again, you know, it's really up to the community to decide. And of course, if it does get nerfed, it probably, you know, it will get nerfed if it's if it's deemed too overpowered. But again, I want to say, man, shout out to my man Dooms. This is actually my man Dooms gameplay. So, you know, like make sure you go ahead and follow Kang Dooms if you want to see him. He's a really, really good ball handler, really, really good dribbler. But if you want to see more videos like this, please check out all my videos right here. One's about to pop up real soon. Make sure you click that one. But other than that, this is your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with another banger, man. You know. When I say back to another banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.